changing caster pod bearings. So here we've got a caster pod. We have just removed the caster itself. And what we're left with is just a caster pod which is housing two bearings. Now these bearings are quite vital for the caster itself to rotate. So when I look at these, I just want to make sure that the bearing spins effortlessly. There's no little resistance anywhere, there's no debris caught inside. And if it feels alright, I leave it. But this one's got a little bit of give, so we're going to remove it and put a new one in. Now because you're replacing it, you don't really have to worry about damaging the current one. But you do have to worry about the caster pod itself. So you want to position your tool very, very gently on the inside and just tap it slowly. See if you can make it give just a little bit all the way around. Now some of them are quite stiff. You might have to go at this a little bit harder, but this one's come apart quite easy. And that one's out. Now you simply repeat the same thing from the other side bottom going up to remove the top one. <clears throat> We're not going to do that today because that one's okay. And then to place a new one in, I simply run my finger along the inside to make sure there's no debris or anything that might impede the caster itself rotating properly. And once it's clean, I take my new bearing, I just angle it just right. I try to get it as far as I can with just my fingers and then I use my mallet once more. I like to use my 19 millimeter attachment from my ratchet because it's about the same size as the bearing. I just angle it on and just gently tap it until it's in position. And that is perfect. <laughs> 